My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of The Fallout and I'm a huge fan of this franchise and this is the best one yet. You've got some of the best action ever put on screen. Tom Cruise is absolutely amazing in this movie. Oh, what's that? Oh, I guess I'm talking about The Wong Fallout. This is a completely different movie and this is a movie I heard great things about. I was kind of just ignoring it but people kept talking about it. I heard it's really emotional so I'm like you know what let's just give this movie a try and I really wish I didn't. This movie did absolutely nothing for me. This movie is about a couple of teenagers who survive a school shooting and how we see how that affects them afterwards. And it's just a very one note movie. But let's begin talking about the cast, first twist, Jenna Ortega. I've mentioned this a few times but she's having a hell of a year, like she's got Studio 666, this movie, Scream, X, like that's a good year. And even though I still think X is her best performance this year, I still thought she was good in this movie. You've also got Maddie Zegler and Lumi Pollock, who I both thought were decent. The rest of the cast, not so much. I like the sister relationship that was in this movie, but aside from that, this movie just had nothing to offer. The entire inciting incident, I didn't find to be all that effective at all. It's got some impactful usage of sound, but not to the point where it stays with you for the rest of the movie. The weight of what happens doesn't carry over to the rest of the movie, it just exists in that one moment. And like I said, I did find this movie to be very one note. I think this movie is just sad thing happened, so people are sad, the movie. Because that's all that this movie is. Something sad happens at the start and we see how that makes them sad for the rest of the movie. And I guess it's a realistic portrayal of something like that, but it just doesn't make for the most interesting, compelling movie in any way. If you look at a movie like Vux Lux, which deals with similar subject matter, and I think is a much better movie, they handle it in a very unique way, but a very effective way nonetheless. If you look at a movie like Manchester by the Sea, which I've heard other people call Sad Person is Sad the Movie, I think that movie has a lot more to say on grief and how everything in life is permanent and trying to move on and I think that movie does so in such a subtle, brilliant, emotionally effective way while everything about this movie just fell flat for me. The supporting cast I found to be really bad for the most part. Her best friend Nick I just found to be so bloody annoying just the way he talks and everything I couldn't stand it and I thought her dad played by John Oates is really bad in this movie. And they also rely on texting so much of this movie, like it's just people sitting down and texting for lots of it. And I get that it's accurate to how people are today, but it just doesn't make for good entertainment. And especially when people are texting each other about very serious stuff and then they just reply with the sad face emoji, it's just like, oh man, this is very cringy. And on that same kind of complaint, I hate the way the characters talk in this movie. Once again, it's accurate to society nowadays, but I guess that just shows you how much I hate society right now because I found all these characters and the way they talked to be so annoying. Look, I don't have anything else to say about this movie. It's a movie that tries to make you cry and didn't even make me tear up once, and I'm an emotional guy. This movie just did absolutely nothing for me. It's got some decent performances, but that's as much as I can say. It's a very one note movie that feels completely hollow. I thought the characters were annoying. I just don't think there's anything about this movie that works. So I'm going to go ahead and give The Fallout a 3 out of 10. Just watch Mission Impossible Fallout instead. It's a much better movie. But what did you think of The Fallout? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon and Gavin out.